We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You have the two of wands so somebody is definitely like detaching from something um this could be the old them like somebody could be renewing their self they're shedding their old skin and they're just letting go of different things this could be different people um This is definitely like a detachment from something. You have the Page of Cups. This could be someone who held back as well. And that person is no longer holding back their emotions. This Page of Cups talks about um, being emotionally immature. You know, not knowing how to express yourself properly um, in the correct way. This was someone that was admiring another person and maybe they held back because they just didn't know how to tell that person. And they were keeping their self at a stalemate, but that person had detached from different things. This person is shedding the old them and they've become a new person. You have the seven of swords and then the five of cups. We have the Ten of Swords. Now, if this is someone who betrayed you, this could be, um, say if it isn't what I just said, you know, someone that was secretly admiring you. This could be someone who wants to apologize for some type of betrayal. Um, that person could have backstabbed you, talked about you in a negative way, but they were doing it behind your back. And that person got mad because they could no longer hold on to you. You let go of that person. And now they're feeling sorry. Like that person wants to apologize and they're in regret. They're embarrassed. They're ashamed. Yeah, because it's like they see that you ended something out. They see that you went through a transformation. You have the Two of Pentacles. And you have the hair font in the reverse. So this is definitely someone who does not know what to do because... um. You don't trust that person anymore. You and that person don't share the same lifestyle. And this is why that person had to be released. Um, you let go of that person. They can no longer hold on to you. And it's like whatever relationship that they're in, they're not happy. If they're in some type of commitment, it's all over the place. Yeah, it's like they're stressed out. They're going through a lot of anxiety. This person cannot sleep at night. They're unhappy. They feel overwhelmed, like burdened with a lot of stress, a lot of things. No matter whatever they try to do to balance their self out, they, they always find their self needing to, you know, balance something out. But this is somebody that's in regret for something that they did to you and they felt like that they were getting away with it. And they just didn't. You release that person, detach from that person, and they're dealing with their karma. They're dealing with um, their life. They're stressed out in their own life. You have the devil in the reverse. Yeah, that person is definitely um, imbalanced. This is someone that could not stay attached to you. If you're someone that's not toxic, you don't have any toxic addictions um toxic attachments and they do they can no longer hold on to you it's like a cord was cut this is someone who does not know how to look at life on another perspective they don't know how to see the bigger picture yeah you have the Ten of Cups. This could be someone that's, that was close to you. This could have been a family member. Or this person could have been someone that was close to a family member that you knew. Or they can't, you know, you met that person through a family member. They're attached to a family member. Some type of way. You have the Queen of Cups and then you have the Ace of Swords.
We have the Knight of Wands. You have the Ace of Wands. This person is someone that talked about you in a negative way because they feel like you're someone that has a lot of clarity. You're someone that um, you like different than they do. They also feel like you took action towards something. You're very fearless. This could be just you, you know, nurturing yourself, focusing um, on yourself, showing yourself self-love, taking care of yourself, having self-respect. This is someone that got upset. Now, maybe you could have always been in that energy, but you were just tolerating that person and you could no longer stay attached to whoever this energy is. That person was released. Um, you've went through some type of transformation that that person did not expect to go through, didn't expect for you to go through. And um, they feel like you're just someone that's very fearless. Like you don't have any fear. This person is trapped in fear. As I say, they don't know, they're lacking direction. And if they feel like you're someone that has control of the direction that you're, um, that you've took the path that you're on, this is why they were in the seven of swords, 10 of swords energy, like bad mouthing you talking about you in a negative way after you release them, detach from them. They see you having some type of new beginning. They see that you physically started over. Yeah, and you've moved forward. You have went through a transition with the Six of Swords. And it's like that person did a lot of talking about you, bad mouthing you, because you chose to change yourself or just change your direction. Focus on yourself. like if this was somebody that was attached to a family member you could have only been tolerating that person because they were someone that was attached to a family member that was close to you but it's like you don't have to be attached to that person you didn't have to tolerate that person and you realize this and you ended something out now you could have just been going through a transformation in and out a cycle um, that you were in and that person was a part of a toxic karmic cycle that you were in and they got upset you have grass is greener yeah they got upset because you realize you deserve better you have player this was definitely someone that was a karmic that person is someone that is um very manipulative. If this person was someone that felt like they had you under some type of manipulation, they realized that they didn't, they were upset. Because like you only tolerated that person because they were, you know, they could have been married into, the fa into your family or something like that. Married to someone that was close to you. You have new love. So, yeah, it's like you're someone that definitely is uh, having a new beginning. You've moved on. You have new love coming towards you. That person is in an unhappy relationship and they're, you know, stressed out, having some type of anxiety because you um, you have new love coming towards you. You have music. You could be getting some type of signs and synchronicities through music, things that you might need to pay attention to about this new person that's coming towards you. You have text message. So yeah, there could definitely be a message in some type of music, um, as I say, that you might need to pay attention to, but you could be re getting ready to receive some actual communication, um, a text message, a phone call from another person. 
You have reconciliation. This is someone that um, wants to come back towards you. So this could be someone from the past. Maybe this is someone you knew in the past. And you're getting ready to run into that person, reunite with this person. You have legal matters. This person wants to balance out something that took place in the past. Whoever this new person is that's coming towards you. You have wedding. Yeah, this is going to end in a commitment, like a marriage. You have third party. And then you have magnetic attraction. So somebody had to get some type of situation balanced out. And now they're wanting to come towards you and balance something out. This could have been a legal matter, like a divorce. Somebody is divorcing a third party. Somebody that was trying to interfere with the connection that they um, want to have with you. This could have been a lustful energy and they were attached to that person. You have liquid courage. And then you have fear. Yeah, somebody is in fear because another person have gained their confidence. They're in the energy of bravery. They're getting ready to take a chance to come towards you. And another person, this third party, they're scared. They know that this person is someone that um, view you as the one. They know that there's some type of reunion that's going to happen between you and this person. But they felt like they could keep that person attached to them through attraction, through lust. Now, this could have been some type of secret competition as well, because you have competition on this card with third party and then interferences here. So maybe that person was um, behind the scenes trying to copy you, compete with you secretly. And they felt like this would, you know, get that person to stay attracted to them. Wow. Yeah, they're in fear of a faded meeting between you and that person. Um, an encounter, something that is destined to happen. This is destiny. You have finances. Yeah. It's like this is someone that is definitely having some type of money problems. That person could be someone that focuses on uh, material things. They're very materialistic, but they feel like once that person comes towards you, they're going to have success. And maybe this is why they were holding on to that person, trying to keep that person attached to them for success. So they've been trying to interfere. So you got one person here that did something bogus in the past um, because they could no longer hold on to you. Um, whatever manipulation they felt like they had you over or under while um, you were tolerating that person, it caused the ending. Like they didn't expect for something to end that way and they didn't expect for you to transition and move forward. And they feel like you're... Um, like in this fearless energy, taking action towards different things, manifesting different things because you chose to focus on you. This is someone who just could not focus on their self. Their, their uh, relationship is all over the place or this could be a marriage is all over the place. And um, they're trying to find some type of balance. But they're in despair for how they treated you. Then you have this other person, this new person that is coming towards you. Now, this could be someone that you knew in a past life that you're reconnecting with. Or this could have been someone that you were connected with in the past that wants to come back towards you. And they were dealing with someone um, that was in fear of that person coming back towards you because they felt like you and that person would have success together. And they, they wanted to hold on to this person for success because they focus on, you know, material things. But if they were trying to hold on to this person and they didn't know um, the if they were trying to hold on to this person, this third party and the person that wants to come towards you did not know that this is why they were trying to hold on to them and interfere with the connection that they have with you. That person could have started having a lot of money problems. So 
They have self-indulgence. They have mirror. So yeah, it's like whatever this energy was doing, whoever the person that's coming towards you, you and that person are mirroring each other. If you have had a relationship in the past, the relationship that they were in with that person is similar. However you were done in a relationship, whoever the person is that wants to come towards you, this new love, they were being treated the same way with whoever they were attached to. This is someone who definitely needed to learn a lesson about self-love with um, self-indulgence being here, appreciating their self more, taking out the time to do shadow work, heal, and focus on their self, realize their worth. You could have needed to do the same thing. Now it's like you and that person are mirroring each other. You've reflected on different wounds that needed to be uh, healed, and you have went through a spiritual transformation and ended out some type of cycle. That person needed to do the same thing. You have love. So yeah, this talks about self-love. Then you have separation. So yeah, if you and this person have been in separation because different lessons needed to be learned about self-love. But it's like, this person cannot stop thinking about you. That person could be on your mind as well. Yeah. Yeah, so you could also be thinking about that person as well. You have healing heart. Yeah, this talks about freeing yourself from a toxic karmic relationship, healing your heart. Um, both people needed to do the same thing before there could be a reconciliation and something to be balanced out. Because whoever this person is, this new person that's coming towards you, there's a union that is supposed to happen between you and them. Another person was in fear of this. It's like they knew that there was something fated to happen between you and another person. Something that was meant to be. You have wedding rings popping out in the reverse. Yeah, they didn't want a union. This is someone who felt like they would be able to stop a soul contract. Uh, somebody would not know about a union that is supposed to take place between you and them. They would never know that you and that person have a soul connection. They would never know that you and them have a soul connection. You have abundance. And then you have hand of cards. Yeah, but it's like somebody is in the energy where they're thinking more positive. If they've released this person and disconnected from this person, this person has the mindset of knowing that they can manifest exactly what they want. This is someone that's getting ready to take a leap of faith. You have Cupid's arrow. So it says love is coming. So yeah, somebody, this is going to be a surprise. Somebody is getting ready to take a leap of faith. That person have um, made a decision that they want to like come together with you, partner up with you. This could be a surprise invitation or a meetup or something like that between you and that person. You have seduction. You have this third party interference again. Then you have passion. Yeah. So it's like if they know that that person, <laughs> this person is behind the scenes, they're constantly trying to get this person's attention. Um, they're trying to use something to get this person to be attracted to them, to pay attention to them. But it's like too much chemistry between you and that person. While this energy is trying to seduce them and tempt them. Yeah, they're heartbroken. Yeah, because this person is someone who likes you. And this is someone who wants to open up their heart to you with heart with the key.
So you have retreat from the outside world. So somebody have definitely, this could be you. You could have did a lot of self-reflecting, self-healing, self, -healing, self um, learning a lesson about self-love, nurturing yourself, and you disconnected from the outer world. This person realized that they needed to disconnect from the outer world. So as the mirror is here, as I say, you and that person have been mirroring each other. And they've been like in hermit mode. Now that they've been in hermit mode, this person wants to come back towards you um, and balance the situation out. You have another person that was trying to slow that person down to keep that person interested in them. This was their worst fear. It's like they're scared. That person is like on edge or something like that. Because they knew about this faded meeting, but they just felt like that person would never know, so it would never happen. Um, if they could keep that person attached to them or attracted to them, they would never um, know about this faded meeting. And it's like whoever this energy is that you were attached to. Um, now, this could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with, but this, this definitely came off as somebody that was attached to a family member. Um that you were tolerating and they could no longer hold on to you. They talked about you in a negative way. They lied on you, slandered your name, um, did different things to betray you because you had ended the cycle out with them, but also went through a transformation that they did not expect to see. This person is in despair because you've moved on and they're stuck in the two of wands, uncertain about what's going to happen next or what should they do next in their own life. 